My name is Catherine Crockford, and for my final project, I have selected a sculpture located at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. The sculpture is called Beethoven's Trumpet with Ear, Opus Number 132 Reverse, by the artist John Baldessari. He uses a wide range of mediums for his work because he will not make boring art, which is a direct quote from Baldessari. Most famous are his dot-obscured compositions of stock photos and film, but he also has many works including text, sculptorial cut canvas paintings, and even film. Ludwig van Beethoven is one of history's most famous classical composers. He composed many of his great masterpieces while being completely deaf. Upon a visit to Beethoven's home, Baldessari was inspired by the cabinet of ear trumpets Beethoven used to compose his works, which led him to the creation of the sculpture. Beethoven's trumpet as a whole has an asymmetrical balance of the trumpet in the ear, which makes a very aesthetically appealing piece. The dimensions of the piece are 73 by 105 by 72 inches, which makes it larger than life. The trumpet is attached to the ear, showing unity and dependency of the two upon each other, and this is accomplished through the artist's use of converging lines. The piece is made from a variety of materials, but its most interesting part is its electronical component, which enables the listener to play a part of Beethoven's String Quartet No. 15 through the trumpet. This addition gives life to the sculpture, incorporates more of the viewer's senses as they observe the piece, and also plays into Baldessari's idea not to make boring art. The trumpet is made from bronze and aluminum, and these materials give the piece a cold texture. Its shape is biomorphic because of its fluid lines, and it is hollow like an actual ear trumpet, which makes it realistic, and shows other elements, including illusionistic and naturalistic styles. The ear is made from fiberglass and resin and has a cream coloring and a smooth texture. There is use of biomorphic and open lines, such as the half circle in the middle of the ear, in order to create a more realistic and naturalistic human ear. Stylized elements are present because of the ear's larger than life size. Psychoanalysis is a great method to explain this piece by John Baldessari. He has an inclination to create art that deals with the complexities of human communication, and one can find evidence of this through his other works, which includes no statues and various forms of media such as video. Baldessari makes it clear in the sculpture's title that it is about Beethoven, but the cream coloring of the ear could reflect deeper meaning on the part of the artist. He could be trying to show through making the ear a cream color, which is almost a blank color, that deafness can affect anyone at any time. He also shows that deafness is not a limitation, only an obstacle. The ear is also a lifeless color which contrasts the warm color of the trumpet. The trumpet has a cold texture because of the bronze used to make it, but it shows that this object is alive and can restore life to something else. Baldessari's leaning towards human communication can show that he has a strong love and passion for creating art and for objects that allow others to create art like the trumpet which allowed Beethoven to continue composing his masterpieces. The plain, simple lines of the trumpet become beautiful to him because of its artistic ability. The movement most closely associated with Beethoven's trumpet is conceptualism. The main feature of conceptualism is that the overall message of the piece is more important than the actual work of art. Baldessari wants to express that human communication is complex and thus uses simple materials to portray this. Baldessari found influence from Duchamp, Apelles, John Cage, and Giotto. He wants the viewer to understand this idea of human communication as ever-changing and complex, and his use as Be of Beethoven as the subject matter shows that human innovation can overcome the difficulties that communication can encounter. This sculpture is more than just like an ear and a trumpet to me. It's proof of human ingenuity and intellectual developments of our society. This is why I selected Beethoven's Trumpet with Ear, Opus number 132. Beethoven inspires me because of his ability to compose these amazing pieces while being deaf, and I love how Baldessari has captured this thought.